Hello, hello. Good morning this morning. I am thrilled to be able to do another fun um, it's that season. So I'm going to do some more Halloween um, things that are just be fun to paint on glass jars or um, envelopes that you're sending out to grandkids like I do. Or you can print this card and send it to all of them since I have 31 of them. This was a good idea for me. I'm going to do it on art paper today. It's um, a yellow tone, kind of amazing color. And I'm going to draw it with you and then we're going to paint it. And I hope you enjoy it. Just want to do something fun. Get throw some flowers around the bottom if you want to. But uh, one stroke, you can do a lot very quick and easy. So here we go. I'm going to move the camera down and then we'll get started. Oh, I have a pencil. I'm going to have the colors. We're using multi-surface paints. These are Procurant multi-surface and so metal, wood, glass, ceramic, outdoors, indoors, has a sealer in all the colors. I'm going to tell you the colors as we go. Some people have asked me to be slower. So I want you to see that we have licorice, medium gray, wicker white, parchment. Uh, if you don't have that, you can mix a little bit of gray and get a color. Um, pure orange, daffodil yellow. And that's what we're going to start with. And um, I might put, let me just put a little bit of coffee latte in here. And I'm doing this bright, not, not more fall darker colors, but brighter. This is my double loader. It's got a lid that will keep this paint until the next time you paint. So this lid pops on it and you dampen this and put it in here and it keeps that all moist. And it even has a lid that goes on top of here. So that's the double loader in case you're saying, what is she using? All right, I'm going to pull out um, a 16 flat, um, a 10, 8 or 10. These value pack brushes come with all these sizes inside of it. Um, 10 different brushes for less than, I think it's less than $19. Okay, so um, we will start with that. I'm going to put another two script liner down. Those are good amounts, good brushes to start with, okay? So I am going to do some friendly ghosts, okay? So to start with, though, I'm going to do a pumpkin that's right here, okay, size-wise. All right, so I'm going to start drawing it here because it's going to be in front of the ghost, all right? So then I'm going to get a bigger pumpkin here. All right. And we will come back and do a face on that pumpkin, or you don't have to. I just thought it'd be kind of fun. So then we have the small little ghost out here. And so this ghost is going to come up here. And there was a little cute hat. And we can hang something from here. You could have a little spider hanging from here. Okay. And I'll show you how to do that cute little spider too. Okay. So we're going to come up like this so that we can see his face. All right. And I'm going to do a cute little face on here. And then he's got this little front of a shirt. And we're going to have the ghost arms that are up here. Let's see. Okay. And then we're going to come around here. Around here. All right. So it's kind of as you paint this, you can see, you can, when I finish drawing this here or we finish drawing this you can um, uh, do a click on your screen and take this and print it out and then you would have a pattern all right so he's going to have a cute little face here with a little nose and a big smile Okay. I don't know if I like that smile, but I'll put a smile in there. I'll like, okay. 
And we'll have a little spider here. Now, what you can do when you go to do the spider, you can use a permanent marker when it's little like this. Okay. All right. Now, right up here is the big ghost. I would say it's a mama ghost. <laughs> and so she's got drippy. This is also drippy. Let me do that over. This is also a drippy little shawl that's there because you've got all this gauze and stuff that's hanging down. And then we're going to come right around here and do a cute little head for the ghost. It's like Casper the Friendly Ghost, maybe. All right, so here is the ghost. And we're going to come right up here. And one, two, three. We're going to make that hat come out here a little bit more. Okay. So it's just kind of fun. We're going to come right out here. There we go. All right, it's going to be kind of good. It's not gnomes. I usually do gnomes. Let's do something different this time, okay? Now, I do. I drew this first and then went back that way. So this is front, then this guy, then that, then the mama. So when I'm painting it, I paint from back there and I come forward, okay? So this is floating medium. I'm going to use a 16. And I'm going to pick up white and work it in. Because a ghost can be kind of transparent white even. All right. So I'm going to chisel in here. Push harder. And it's okay if you see the pencil lines. All right. See, I'm laying the brush flat. Okay. We're going to come around here. And lay the brush flat. Okay, and we're going to put the head in here. And then we're going to come right around here. And do the rest of the hat. It's like a cape that goes over like a hoodie. Comes over. We're going to clean up the face again. And then I'm going to have the robe that's starting to come down here. Okay, so what I want to do when we're right there, okay, I'm going to side load. The hardest thing with one stroke painting to learn is the loading. So this helps control you to do a good load, okay? So I'm going to come along here. And I can come back and flip the brush and put the gray on the other side. And I'm going to come around. All right. So let's get a little bit more gray. All right. And now around her face, I'm going to take up here in the hat area. Let's take this up here in the hat. Okay. All right. Now I want to go a little bit darker in around the head. See how I'm going to take that around there and bring it up. All right. So let's put a little bit more white back in here. Just using this size 10 flat. Okay. 
Now I'm going to come right around here. There we go. All right. And then this has a little bit of shading there on both sides of her dress, her gown. Okay. So if I come up here a little bit underneath, All right, so let's see if we get a glare on here. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we're just going to have a little bit of these strokes going down here. All right, so then we're going to come in here and at the same time pick up the gray and the white. And we're going to come right here. Now, I'm going to put the white on this side. Okay. I'm going to get white with a little bit of gray. All right. So there's this front hat. Okay, so we're going to come right under here and do the face. Put white around here, dark at the top because it's under the hat. We come all the way around, put dark under there. So one stroke painting means you blend shade and highlight in each stroke. And as you're doing this, you can create all the highlights and everything right here as you go. Okay. So we're going to come right down here. Now we're going to do a little bit of ripple here. So watch how this happens. All right, I'm going to come right around here for the arm. Okay, then we come right under here. Go longer. From right here where the neck is. Now look what we do down here. We can pull up. It gives you shading as you go. But remember, we have this scarf that comes over here okay right and i'll just come in here one more time and do a cute little face right here i hope you like this today now when you're watching me do this i want you to understand if we're just doing fruit or if we're doing any other kind of object, this is how you make it happen. From the back to the front, you're multi-loading the uh, brush with the darks and the lights to get your color. All right, so I'm going to take right in here again. Okay. Get a little bit more good, ghosty look. All right. Now, I'm going to get that identifier I told you about. So you can come right straight down here. Get, you got to have a good sharp edge. All right. I need another pen because I want to make sure I have a good a small one. So you're going up and down, up and down, up, down. Now I can come out here and erase those pencil lines. You want to have eight little legs. I'm missing one here. There you go. 
and it makes a cute little spider off of her head, his head. All right. And those are just with the identi pen. All right. They're permanent markers. The fabric on this is cute for a t shirt, guys. You can take this whole pattern and put it right on the t shirt and it'll be adorable. Okay. So let's get some orange and yellow or transparent colors. So we're good because there's yellow in the background or white. But if you were a darker color, just listen to this. You would want to add some white and have the underneath a little bit of white so it will cover better. So this is what we're going to do. We base coat this first. You don't have to. You can double load and do the whole thing with double load as you go. But it goes faster. And I'm all about fast because I want you to be able to sell your goodies and make money and not have to spend forever to make it happen. We can blend, shade, and highlight in each stroke. That's the beauty of one stroke painting. Uh, when you're doing glass, glass painting, fabric painting, you have to base coat. When you're doing glass painting, you want to double load as you're doing this. And you want to lay the paint on there, okay? So look, I'm going to pick up the daffodil yellow. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to come right in here. All right, so pick up more daffodil yellow. Come right in there. One more. I'll pick up some more. And I don't mind ridges. To me, ridges make it look better. But some people have been taught always to not have any ridges. So I've got a glare, so I'm trying to pick it up so you don't see the glare. Okay. All right, and then we can have a little bit in here. Now, watch what happens. I can get a teeny bit of white. Get a little bit of glow in here. Little teeny bit of white in there. All right, it's going to give you a highlight. So I'd go back in here a little bit and put a little bit of the yellow. All right. So let's do this again. Yellow and red, or yellow and pure orange. And on the yellow edge, let me show you how it looks better. I'm going to work it into the yellow edge. So then when we're doing this guy, look, you got the pure orange. All right, we're going to come here. And do that pure orange with the yellow and the wicker white. See, it looks a little bit better than the way I did this one up here. I just like to show you the difference in the two. Oops, that's not right. Okay, so we can come back here. There we go. All right, so. This is what we're going to do again. We load it here. We pick up yellow. And then we come here and we work it in. Let's get yellow and orange again. Okay, again. There we go. All right. So then this is what happens. I'm going to come right along here. And again. Okay. All right, so there's our pumpkins. Isn't that kind of cute? So I'm going to get, uh, let's just get a smaller brush, like a six. And I'm going to come in here with a coffee latte and um, a little bit of gray. And I'm going to come right here to get the stem on the pumpkin. All right. So I'm going to come up, up, around, and chisel. All right. So 
I can take my I can take my two script liner. So I'm taking my two script liner and I'm going to pick up a little bit of the coffee latte and white and I'm going to come right out here and make this curl around a little bit. So it needs a little bit of highlight in the stem, just a little bit, okay? So if I was painting a shirt or whatever, I would do two at the same time, at least two, because what you would do is that you would um, load this like the pumpkin and just do all the pumpkins on all the shirts. And then you come back and do the spider on all of them. Well, see, now I can show you that I can erase that pencil. And after you get used to doing that spider, you don't need a pencil drawn at all because it's a really kind of simple spider. So it's kind of fun. I've made all kinds of spiders, like made that red or whatever. All right, so I'm gonna come in here and do kind of a simple face. But if I take this smaller brush I had again, okay, and I want to put just a teeny bit, let me just put maybe pink melon, a teeny bit of color. All right, and you can do a little bit while this is drying, a little bit of pink melon for the cheek. Okay, I got a little bit too much on here. A little bit here, little little bits of cheeks. Just because it's I wanted it cute instead of too scary. All right. Now I'm gonna take and dab off that with my fingers. Can you see? I just took a little bit off because I want it real light. Okay. Now, we're going to come in here with a little bit of licorice. So I take my water, and this is on paper, so if you're on fabric or something else, just let the white dry. Mine, mine's already dry, but if you're doing this on fabric or whatever, you'd let it dry. All right, so what I like to do is I like to just touch dot, 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 and make a cute little eye. Oops, what about a bigger eye? All right, and then I'm going to do a little teeny nose. And then I just come way down. Okay, just a little bit. And you could even do, that's kind of how I do my snowman too, but it works for this also. All right, so we're going to come right here. Little bit. The tip of my brush is a little fuzzy, so. Okay, just a little teeny bit. And then to finish that off, you're gonna touch white and I'm gonna put two little dots on each eye, which gives it character. Oops, that one's two. This one, but like I gotta put the black back in because I got it too big. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I just want this orange to be just a little bit uh, darker. So I'm gonna get medium gray and I'm gonna work this into the pure orange. All right. So we're just changing the U, the shading. All right. So I'm gonna roll this out and on this pumpkin, I'm going to, first of all, right here, do, do the shape of the pumpkin of his eye. Now I usually use black, so you could use black if you want to and have this extra shading. 
on the edge. Okay. All right, and then, so I'm just getting my shape. So instead of black licorice, we can just, this is a two script liner. We can just come in here and just make this a little bit darker in here. Let's try that. And then we'll come in here. Okay, we can just leave it like this. And you're even on the fabric, you can outline it with licorice with the licorice, I mean the black identifier. Okay, but I'm just showing you. I gotta lay my finger down here. I'm just showing you that I can go on the outside edge. I usually do these all black with a yellow highlight in the middle. I want you to see that you can just shade that like that. You're looking inside the pumpkin. All right. I don't know if I'm going to be happy with this or I'm going to want them all black inside. But no matter what, we've got the shape already here. I take chalk sometimes. I feel and draw them on so you can just keep painting okay i don't know we'll have to see okay so then we can just do a big oval for the mouth and we can do the eyes the same way Kind of scary. Like the pumpkin scared. <laughs> I'm going to do this one script liner and just fill in this. Okay. All right. I think I'm going to go ahead and fill this in and just highlight it. That's not dramatic enough. Just telling you. I'm shaking. Okay, listen. Please subscribe and ring the bell, and then you will be told every time I'm doing a Facebook Live. And in the Facebook Live, I share what's going on with the um, everything that I'm doing from Patreon to the memberships and more, and give you discounts on product. So there we're going to do this, and then we're going to take... Um, us another six brush let's see let's take a six and we're going to come in here with a little bit of i can do yellow and white and work that in and then what you're going to do is if you come right here right here it's better to let that dry and come along here and on this side of each of those um, sides of the mouth. What this is doing is it's letting uh, like a glow, like if there's a candle inside, a light, you can have a light go in here. Okay. And then I can do the same thing, a little bit of yellow and white. Right on here, there. And a little bit in there. Oop. I have to be careful because I just got orange with my finger on the white. So everything's better if you let it dry because there's a varnish in the paint. And what happens is you can wipe it right off if you make sure that's all dry. 
All right, so there we go. Is he kind of cute? <laughs> so I like that we can then put um, a spider web. We can come right from here to here for the spider web. And then we can stretch and then go like this. So we can also go like this. So we're going from here to here to there. So what's happening is this pin is drying out. So I gotta maybe have to go over it again. All right, so. We're just pulling that tight, that little spider web. Okay. Kind of fun. But we can also have a baby spider right here. Now when we do this, we go up and down. Up. And we're going to go up again, out and down. Up, out, and down. Okay. So there you go. You got a couple of spiders, and he's going, ooh, because the spider's coming down on him. He's not sure if he likes that. And uh, there we go. <laughs> Wouldn't well, that be cute on a shirt? So um, there you go. You can also print this on a printer that has that iron on shirt stuff and we can iron it right on or heat press it onto your shirt one last thing I, I need to do is a little teeny bit of shading so if I take floating medium and I side load the medium gray I can even add a little bit of orange to it let's put a little bit of orange oops I've got it too wide now so I have to wipe that off move it down get medium and now come in here because what you want to do is you want to come along here and because i got too much on there i just wipe this off okay so that just means it's darker because they're shadowed there it gives you more depth Y'all see that? And then I can do the same kind of thing up here. All right, we're going to come around here a little bit if you want. You can also come under here. I hope you enjoyed being with me today. Come, um, please join Donna Dewberry's official Facebook group. And we you have to answer questions, by the way. People are not answering questions, so we can't let them on. Um, there's a few questions because it's a private site for One Stroke Painters. So please answer. And the couple of questions that are there and we would love to have you join us and share your art and ask questions and everybody on there is so helpful okay so all right i'm ready you're ready to share it thank you so much and i will see you next time check out my lives on fridays I'm trying to do them all on fridays not always on fridays but you can go watch them anytime there's a great jack-o'-lantern on there, so go check it out. Thank you. Bye-bye.